If you're looking to set up your Amazon Echo Auto outside of the United States, right now it does not show up in the Amazon Voice Assistant application. So I'm going to show you how to get that working. We're actually going to start on the Amazon website for your country. So go in there, get logged into your account, and then you're going to head to your content and devices. It may say something slightly different as Amazon changes this often, but you will notice manage your content and devices along the top, and then you're going to head to preferences. Now, inside of preferences, you're going to find country and region settings. Now, mine says the United States because I've already made this change, but you're going to hit that change button. And if you don't see anything on this page, then you're not on the correct Amazon page where your account is being managed from or is based out of. So you'll need to go to that Amazon dot whatever site to make sure that you're at the right one. So when you hit this change button, you can actually adjust the address that your account is based out of and you'll need to find an address from the US. Now I had some friends that I just went ahead and put in their address but you do need a US address you can look one up really as long as you don't ship anything there everything will be fine now once you've done that inside of Amazon's voice assistant application you can head down to devices and you go up to the plus then and then you go to add device now you will see Amazon Echo so you're going to tap on that and now you will get the option for Amazon Echo Auto now it's just a couple of buttons here and you have to remember that your Echo Auto has to be plugged in and it has to be powered on. So at this point, it's sitting in your vehicle. And also, if you're going to use the auxiliary port, you want that already plugged into your car because there will be sound that comes out. So we're going to choose the Echo Auto F120. That's the name of my device. Yours will be slightly different and we're just going to tap on that and then move forward in the setup process. After you've tapped on that, we're just going to hit continue and then you've got to wait on this screen for a little bit. It's a couple of minutes in order to basically have your phone find the Bluetooth for your device. It's, it's just going to take some time, so just be patient there. Now once you get past that screen, these are a couple of funny questions. If you say yes to this first Bluetooth question, then you will be setting up the device through Bluetooth to play on your car, but if you hit no, no to the next two questions, you will use the auxiliary port. So these two questions really depend on how you'd like to utilize the Echo Auto. Either way, you're going to get to the next step, which is to test the actual connection. And if it doesn't work, you can just go back in the process and start again. Now from here, you're all set up and ready to go with your Amazon Echo Auto. You can start using it. And if you need some videos for that, your number one, go ahead, subscribe to the channel here where we're showing tutorials. We also have a review on our sister channel, Automate Your Life. So go ahead and click on that. Otherwise, guys, don't hate, automate.